Welcome back to the kitchen, everybody. I hope you're ready for a treat. I don't know about you, <laughs> but I'm ready to eat. Let's get in this video and let's go. It's tiger shrimp scampi time. Like, <laughs> welcome to Kevy's Kitchen. You gotta eat. Here are our beautiful list of ingredients here to get us started. Don't worry, look down in the box below. The full descriptions of everything will be in there and the star of the show, our tiger shrimp. Bit pricey, but worth it. I mean, look at these babies. They're literally the size of my hand. And I've got some monster hands, so I'm just saying, we got this. So we're gonna start off by par cooking our shrimp. And what I mean by that is, we're gonna cook these large shrimp for about three minutes. They're not gonna be fully done, so we're only going to par chili cook them um, because we're gonna chop them up uh, except for what we're using for our garnish and we'll put them back in our sauce later to finish the cooking process before we serve them. Gotta be safe in these streets. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited uh, for these shrimp. They're just delicious. <laughs> So we're in about a minute and a half, uh, two minutes for these shrimp. We're gonna go ahead and season them. We're gonna add some cracked black pepper. And per usual, you know your taste profile. I like a lot of uh, seasoning. I'm trying to be easier on my sodium. So you can offset by other things like pepper and garlic. And garlic, has a, it goes a long way. Garlic and olive oil go a long way. You wanna flip your shrimp as they just turn pink uh, on one side. Kiss them with a little bit of olive oil. You'll see why. And in about two minutes, you're gonna wanna add in some lemon juice. To yeah, adding in lemon juice will really liven and brighten this dish up. You're gonna wanna take some of your shrimp out. And if you have a lot of shrimp, you're gonna wanna cook them in batches. So don't overcrowd your pan. Remember that pro tip. that last one out of there and like I said this is the second batch add in some lemon juice uh, the smell just hits you in your spirit uh, it's taking everything in my control and my willpower to not eat these things right now just look at all that goodness just mm, beautiful fawn in the bottom of the pan if you've never messed with fresh garlic before you were truly missing out I completely understand what my other chef friends were talking about. The, the pre-made minced garlic, not the business. This is a total game changer. So you wanna give them a little whack to uh, break open the, the skin, to reveal the actual cloves. You wanna whack that clove, peel it off, and then you wanna give it a nice rough mince. I'd like to, for this dish, I want nice big pieces. All right, so we're gonna take some of the fawn over in this pan that we've used for everything, only messing up two pans, one for the pasta, one for the dish. You're gonna add in your butter or butter substitute if you're trying to be a bit healthier, like I am. Don't judge me. And you wanna actually cook this sauce over a medium low heat. I like, um, I want my butter to take its time to break down. You wanna add in some olive oil here. Eagle parts olive oil to your butter. Um, I don't want the, but the sauce to brown. I want it to just reduce down naturally and just kind of take its time to get to know one another. Add in your black pepper. This is totally optional. Just a little kiss of salt, not much. Just a little bit. You can opt to leave that out if you want to be even less on your sodium intake. Two teaspoons, or a piece of a teaspoon in this case, of uh, chicken base. Give that a healthy whisk, kind of help everything do its thing. Add in your wine and a little lemon juice. I had to add my wine off camera. Full disclosure, I was drinking the wine and I almost forgot to add it in. <laughs> Don't at me, okay? It's wine. It's fine. <laughs> Add in your garlic and half of your parsley because we're going to save the other half for our garnish. Why? Because we can. It's our kitchen. You're going to add in some crushed red pepper flakes because we like things spicy. I know I do. <laughs> and then a little, 
I decided last minute to add in these sun-dried tomatoes just to elevate the dish for me and it really was the perfect little additive. I loved it. Give your sauce a little mix. I know it doesn't seem like a lot of sauce, but trust me, it's the perfect amount. We're gonna add in our cut shrimp. You can see there that they're kind of not cooked. That's because we partially cooked them. You're gonna add in your garnish shrimp as well. You don't wanna cut everything because you gotta make it pretty later. But you add all your shrimp back into your pan, raise your heat up to a nice medium, and you wanna finish your cooking process. Oh, look at it. Looks so good. Oh my lord! Whew. Remove your garnish shrimp and throw in your pasta. I didn't show you how to boil water because I'm confident that you guys know how to do that. Top it in that sauce. Hit it with some more Parmesan. Then you get to plate it up and make it beautiful. Oh my goodness. Just I want to eat it all. Oh wait, I did. <laughs> Uh, yeah, plate it up and garnish. It's your kitchen. You can use what you want. Make it fancy. I'm working on my plating game. You know, I say it every video, but this one I was really, really proud of. And you know, it's a dish that can be used for Valentine's Day. That holiday is uh, coming up, and it's a quick, romantic little getaway. Hey friends, welcome back. Um, you already know it's Super Bowl night. I didn't feel like eating anything super crazy and we're trying to be a little healthier. So we have a shrimp, a tiger shrimp scampi, if you will. And I am here for it. So let's take a little bite. I know what you're here for, baby. Got some pasta on there, a little shrimp. Let me offer that up for you. What's up? Cheers. No, this is. This is just stupid good. <laughs> Let me do that one more again. <laughs> yeah, per usual, you already know what time it is, but before I say what I say, I wanna say thank you for subscribing, for liking, for commenting, for trying a couple recipes, for you know letting me know how to turn out down in the comments and on Instagram. I see you, Mike Evans. Um, thank you guys so much for everything, and I can't even continue to speak. So I will see you next week. Thanks for watching, everybody, and don't forget, per usual, like, comment, and subscribe.